Bojo, Indigenous Class Willie. Hi everyone, my name is Willie. I am a Métis woman from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, and I am the author of Minnow, the Girl Who Became Part Fish. Um, Minnow is a story that is so close to my heart. I love it so much. It is told in lyrical rhyme. It is fun, it is whimsical, but it also touches on some really difficult topics um, of ocean conservation and some of the things that are having a negative impact on our oceans and our ocean relations. The story follows a young indigenous water protector named Minnow who dreams of living in the sea. Um, and she eventually gets that wish and turns into a sort of sea creature. Um, part fish is what I like to say. And so Minnow turns into part fish and she goes into the water and she meets um, a new fish friend who shows her some of the terrible things that people do to the oceans and some of the things that are happening within our oceans. Um, and when she's done her adventure, she realizes that she needs to stand up and make change. And so she rallies her nation and, you know, the nations around her and the nations that rely and have a connection to the water. Um, and together they come together to protest and make change. Minnow was largely inspired by my time living on the West Coast. Um, I lived in Haiwatin First Nation and I also taught in Little Lot First Nation, um, both nations that rely on salmon. Um, and so within that time, I had met a lot of really incredible youth and a lot of my students who educated me on some of the issues that the salmon are facing and who kind of inspired me to come back and write something that helps inspire people to be better allies to um, to Indigenous communities and to Indigenous people. Um, and so that, you know, we are all treaty people and we are all people who need to fight for Indigenous land sovereignty because it is largely Indigenous folks um, on the front lines and doing the work to protect the environment for future generations for all of us. And so I really wanted to create something that had that kind of land back message um, that spoke to some of that land sovereignty um, and you know where indigenous kids could see themselves within the story and see the power that they hold and also so that allies could could read this story and you know we could we could have better allies in future generations from kids being inspired by indigenous stories so that is minnow the girl who became part fish and i hope you love it as much as i do miigwech <laughs>